everyone welcome back to my channel i'm jen i post videos twice a week and today's video is going to be a huge home and bargains haul again i went and i found loads of new stuff in there so sit back relax enjoy the video please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get straight into the haul so the first thing that i'm going to show you is what i'm actually sitting on right now to get the biggest thing out of the way i got this gray stool and i love it it's really soft and it was only 12 99 They did this in a mustard colour. There's gold legs and yeah, really, really love this one. And this is actually really heavy because I'm kind of squatting while showing you this. But it's so soft. It's quite big as well and it's a nice height. So yeah, that was the first thing I picked up. It was that stool. I just needed a new stool to film my videos on because my other one's really, really old. I love my new stool and 12 99 is such a cheap price for a stool as well. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up were these set of three drawers, they're meant for like a desk or a dressing table and I'm actually going to put my lip glosses and lip scrubs in here if you didn't already know, I have my own Etsy business that I sell lip glosses and lip scrubs I always leave them a link down below if you want to check them out they're normally about three or four pounds and yeah, I've been keeping them in bags but this is like a bit more organised so that's why I picked this up and it's in this gorgeous leopard print and I'm not normally a fan of normal leopard print but I like the pink with it so that's why I picked it up. So yeah, it comes with three drawers and they are quite like a big size so I can definitely fit a lot in here. So these storage drawers were $2.99. The next thing that I picked up was the Head & Shoulders Deep Hydration Shampoo. Now I always have one of these in case I ever have a hair disaster. As you can see my hair's looking a bit darker today but that's just because I've toned it, it will wash out. But if you've ever toned your hair or you've dyed it and you really don't like it, Head and Shoulders is a really good shampoo to help break down the molecules in your hair and release like the colour. So it, if I use this, if I wash my hair with this a good few times, this would lift back to my normal blonde. This is the deep hydration one with coconut oil. This one's got the coconut on. And they also have the original and the, I think it's citrus. It's got a lemon on the front. But yeah, so I always pick up one of these and this is only $1.99 so it is a really good price for head and shoulders. They also have really, really big ones. They must be something like 500 mil or something like that and they are $4.99. The next thing that I picked up was this EOS, I think that's how you say it, EOS lip balm. This is watermelon frosé and it's fresh mint, lime zest and it's watermelon. So this is what it looks like and these EOS ones uh, normally if you go into Selfridges they're about six or seven pounds this one and they had loads of other like summery ones like this one uh, I think this was two pounds yes this was two pounds so definitely go to Home and Bargains I went to Home and Bargains today again they keep restocking all the lip balms but these EOS ones loads are coming in and they also have loads of the Dr. Pawpaw ones there as well if you want to pick one of those up because those are really really good as well. I love the watermelon scent and I love the mint one so this is like a perfect combination and I do like to put lip balm on before I apply lipstick and stuff like that. It helps it glide on so much easier. So the next thing that I picked up is the Dove Nourishing Secrets Shampoo and Conditioner. Now I've already used this on my hair and my hair feels so nice afterwards. It really is nourishing. So this is a Restoring Ritual with coconut oil and turmeric? Turmeric? I think it's turmeric. Um, for stronger hair without signs of damage. Now my hair feels a little bit thicker after using this shampoo and my hair's really fine and thin. So this, these are 179 each and if you have really thin fine hair this will help soften it but also thicken it a tiny tiny bit. It's by Dove and I always buy my shampoo and conditioner from Home and Bargains because you always get the bigger brands for a cheaper price there. Okay so Home and Bargains have a really really nice stationery range. They have this ombre pink purple and yellow theme going on. So I picked up the pencil case. So this is just like your standard size pencil case to fit your pens in. I'm going to put in all my gel pens because I don't really like the containers and the packaging that they come in because they're always hard to slot in. And So yeah, I just find a pencil case is easier and I didn't actually have one. I haven't had a pencil case since I was in school. So going back many years now. So yeah, I got this pencil case and then I also got some pens to go with it because you can never have too many pens. These are the ombre pattern pens in the gorgeous colours. I love the colours that they chose. And you get three ballpoint pens. The pencil case is £1.29 and the pens 
were 79p so really good price they also had folders files and i think they had um pencil pots again for like a desk organization thing so yeah they had lots in this range and they also had okay so the next thing that i got is a uh, santa monica self tanning applicator mitt this is only one-sided but i thought that it was a nice thick mitt it feels really nice and thick and you always need one every i try to buy one about every four to six weeks you can wash them but who actually has the time to wash them seriously so this is a face and body one stain free hands streak free finish and this one's cheaper than the uh, velvet tan ones they do have the velvet tan ones in there but this one is actually cheaper i think this was only two pounds this one was only 99p while the velvet tan ones are actually three pounds but they're double sided so you know it's up to you which one you want to choose but i thought i'd just go for a cheaper one this time and this feels a lot better than like the poundland ones the next thing i picked up was a dry shampoo always need a dry shampoo i always go to home and bargains if you've watched my channel for a while i only ever buy batiste from home and bargains no other dry shampoo brand works for me i've definitely tried coco lab and i've tried another one but i can't remember but it literally just looks like i've got really really greasy hair like even worse batiste is the only one that works for my hair this is the bigger one so you can get bigger ones and smaller ones depending on which home and bargains you go this bigger one was only 2 99 if you went to Superdrug, you'd probably pay about five pounds for this definitely go to home and bargains instead and yeah so this is the original one they didn't have the bigger ones they don't normally have a huge range of but the smaller ones which are two pounds they do tend to have more different like scents and flavors and stuff but yeah so this is the next thing that i got it's an essential in my daily routine to put a bit of this in and then the next thing that i picked up were these toothbrushes these are by wisdom and there's a pink and a purple and i got one a new one for me a new one for tom and i think these were only 79p so these toothbrushes were only 79p really really good price and you can get some colgate ones they have lots and lots of different ones different multi-pack ones as well but i just picked up these because they were just a really good price and they only needed two i didn't need five okay so the next thing that i picked up i've actually used so it's not in the packaging but it's this face mask how gorgeous is this face mask like obviously you need to wear one when you go out to the shops and stuff it's a face mask and it adjusts as well around the ears because i have really small ears so the standard ones don't fit my face so when you go out to the shops it's really nice like i feel a bit like nicer wearing like a face mask that looks pretty <laughs> and they had loads of these i got tom a plain black one as well but he's obviously got that one with him they also had different patterns they had lots of like spotty ones ones with hearts on and then you have like your plain black ones they also sell visors in there if you want to wear visor instead those are two pounds but yeah home and baggins have loads of stuff to protect yourself with okay so i picked up a few makeup bits but i'm actually going to test these out in a video so i am going to show you quickly but i'm not going to go into too much detail because i do it will be my next video for saturday so this is the first thing i picked up it's the la ebb i think it's just called lab lab squared oh it's called live and breathe beauty and it's this beauty sponge here now this looks gorgeous i love the pink and white marble and it also has like a flat edge as well so this was 99p next i picked up this w7 prismatic 3d highlighting palette for face and eyes so this is what it looks like and then you open it from the side so it's this triangle shape and this is what it looks like inside and i think it looks so nice i'm definitely going to try and use them as a highlighter i think these are definitely more highlighter shades i wouldn't use them for an eye unless you were doing like a really bright look so this was only i think this was only 79p yeah it was 79p this and this was being put out on the shelves as i was looking around so i grabbed one quickly because i think these are gonna be snapped up really really quickly the next thing i picked up was this max and more highlighting concealer now i got the lighter shade and this is 01 light beige and obviously i wanted to try it but i'm gonna be very surprised if this is going to be the right shade because light beige is normally like more of a medium skin tone but yeah so it's this highlighter pen i think it is but i will figure out when i film the video um but so it's by max and more and this was only 99p 
Then I picked up the Max and Malt lipstick bundle. So there's a raspberry shade, which is like a red, like a bright red. And then there's this cranberry shade that's obviously like a darker purple. Now, this is the only lip products that they had. So I don't normally pick these shades, but this is what they look like anyway. Yeah, these were 99p as well. And then the final thing from Max and Moore I picked up was this eyeshadow palette. You've probably seen this a lot in people's Poundland hauls. Now, I feel a bit ripped off of this because I actually paid £2 for this, but in my local Poundland, they didn't have it. Um, but I know that you can get this from Poundland for a pound. <laughs> So, yeah, but I really wanted to try it for a video. It is a massive palette as well. So, yeah, I picked it up anyway, just so I can show you guys. So, yeah, there's lots of gorgeous shades in here. So, I'm excited to try this out for my video. It was being put out as I was walking around. It's this, the Colour Workshop Nude Eyes 17 Piece Collection. Now, as you can see, you get a lot of makeup in here. I only paid $1.99 for this, so a great price. So, you get two little eyeshadow palettes. I picked this up today so I obviously know I bought a massive eyeshadow palette but I also wanted to get this for the because you get so much in it. You also get a little mascara, you get a blush, a highlight and then you get a lipstick which it looks actually like a really nice shade. The, the, there you go, sorry my ring light's reflecting but this looks like a, like a nice pinky nude colour so I thought this covered a lot of makeup items and again for $1.99 great and all these like little palettes here would be great for traveling because they are they are tiny so that is everything that I picked up in my video I hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and subscribe there's probably going to be quite a few more videos coming up like this especially with homeware and stuff because I am trying to move out there will be quite a few homeware hauls B&M hauls stuff like that on my channel. So I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you next time. Bye!